I'm going to warn you right now, this isn't a Tuesday upload, so it's going to be boring. <laughs> what is up my ladies, what's up my gentlemen? Welcome back to another 3D Machines production. As you guys know, I'm usually uploading on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. This is just like a bonus round, I guess. Uh, a lot of people were asking in the comment section below, like what's the moving process looking like? Like what's going on? Like you guys, are, you're only uploading one day a week. You used to upload like every day. Well, I'm trying to work on things so that uh, this this whole channel gets better. So we gotta take it slow. We gotta take it steady. She has the pinkest tongue, the whitest teeth. And in my opinion, one of the most beautiful dogs on this planet. Isn't that right? Yes, I know I have a whole bunch of mud on my hat. This is the old garage, you guys. This is where things went down. This is where ch where three machines went from like 10,000 subscribers to 50,000 subscribers up to, what are we up to, like 680,000 subscribers? So that's awesome. Crush is currently not in here. I moved him out. I got a lot of my tools out. Wow, they moved stuff for me. Well, unless it wasn't mine. We got a garbage pile here. We got some GS parts here. If anybody needs any of this, leave it in the comment section below. That's from the GS1000 you are originally gonna put in the Gator, but uh, the engine was shot. Got a nice Maxxis backup here for the Jeep. Definitely will be taking that guy, that's for sure. I think we'll be able to see the Jeep today. So all you guys that wanna see the Jeep, you can see what it's looking like. Right now it's putting, it's being put on standby because the Gator's gotta get done. I started that project before the Jeep. We have to get that project done and then move on to the next one. And there was a situation that went down in the city and I have some clips of that and I, I feel like I was being bent over and that's another reason why it's been pushed on standby. So stay tuned. There's probably a lot of stuff that I forgot about and you guys have questions about. Here's a fender to the Gator that we'll probably never use but we'll use it as, um, as a template. You know, I did always like this funnel. The funnel that went into a funnel that funneled things. I was also wondering where I put my glitter glue gun. That was the best Sweet 16 ever. Yeah, so I'm currently organizing three different things. One junk, two my shop, and three my house. This is what's gonna go to my garage. All this stuff right here. This is gonna go to the, the shop that I'm renting. And this is junk. And it's just extremely interesting to see all this stuff that I used to save, like this thing. All that's in here, this is an outlet for like a welder. All that's in this thing is this thing right here. Now what the heck are you ever going to do with that? That's probably sat on that shelf for five years. Uh, this thing I used once and hated it, so I'm throwing that thing out. It's like to, to undercoat the bottom of your truck. You guys remember me breaking this thing? That should be a wall hanger, but it's just going to go in the garbage. So let's see, that phase of my life was more so dirt biking and then just getting into dirt biking. This, however, is going back before that. This is the lawnmower phase, and this is all the lawnmower stuff that uh, you know I took off of riding mowers, push mowers, anything. And if I thought I would use it, I went ahead and kept it. That's still a good one, I'm gonna keep that one. You guys can get your wheels turning on that stuff. I'm only keeping this guy, this is a carburetor for a lawnmower because I, I bought something that might need that, and you guys, are, you guys, stay tuned for that thing. I'm finding some pretty good stuff. Here's a nice toggle switch. Brand used. No, actually that one probably is new. All the stuff I've been working on lately, I've needed about five of these throughout the week, and there's a free one. This, this is kind of crazy. I just found this. I use this to help me with my most viewed video, I guess. I think that video has like 12 million views. Absolutely nuts. Cotton stuff. That was when the thousand knife degree challenge thing was a huge thing. And a lot of you guys hated it, but all the like, you know, 14 year olds and younger loved it. And it was so satisfying doing it. History, just like all this stuff. If there's anybody that needs any 207s, this went to my Kawasaki. I got a whole bag of them. Go to machinemerch.com, get a hat. Or anything besides a decal that I have to throw in a bag, I'll give you like two or three of these for free. Just put 207 as your company name or something and I'll get a couple to you. I was expecting to drop the light bar before the... So I'm in the Duramax, 
my first load is in the back. At the other garage here, my uh, the one I, I rent out, uh, the BMW actually covers the, do the front door so like nobody can steal anything. If, if it starts, it doesn't run well, but it, it'll start. It is kind of mean of me to just call that thing an anchor. The BMW, I, I apologize. You don't deserve that gorgeous. But damn, does that block the door good. So here's the Jeep. I don't know how much has really changed since the last time I uploaded anything on this thing. I think I put that thing on and, and probably a few other things that you might not really see. We're definitely packing them in tight, that's for sure. We got crushed, got the Jeep. So this is where stuff used to go down and as you can see, it's definitely gone down. So yeah, we got like stuff like the Motron. I'm just gonna throw this stuff in here. I'm not gonna show you that because all you people with OCD are just gonna fly off your handles. Like if this isn't bad enough, it's only gonna get worse. So gonna, gonna cut it here. Back in the D-Max, have my second load. Um, I'm only, I only took one load to my garage. Now I'm taking this load to my house. It's getting late. I have to unload all this stuff because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. But before I do that, or I have to do that, and I have to go to Home Depot, buy a whole bunch of plywood so I can deck the top of my, or the, the second, you know, to make an attic to my current garage. I gotta put this guy away though first. This thing loves me. She starts and runs perfect for me every time. All right, come on, you, you gotta work with me here. Really? It's always the gray key. Oh, wheel shake. The black key works, what? Let's go. That's all she needs to do. Okay, stay. Stay, stay. What can I say? That thing's cherry. Yeah. Uh. This side of the garage has to remain kind of clean. I have to be able to walk through it because I want to put, I want to put plywood or some kind of wood up here. Jeepers! This is the current situation. The ground isn't the cleanest, but it is manageable. It's really nice when you start tripping over this stuff because it acts like a bearing. Some of the stuff from my previous load. But we gotta take this and try to fit it right here. Cole, I wish you picked up this stuff better so I had a spot. This is not my mess. I promise. Sounds like the neighbor's got a new dog. Got the plywood. And that engine definitely got oil because uh, it was all over my concrete. Luckily, in the same load, I had that thing. I never use these things. And I had it. It's freaking slick. Jeepers. I bought, I think, three quarters inch. This stuff is heavy. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible idea. It's a two-man job. It requires a clean garage. Oh, smoked. I right, I do apologize. I told a complete lie. It's not three quarters. It's like 23, 30 seconds. Welcome to America. So here's the ladder I was talking about. I don't have my first board right here. Ah! I just gave myself a tramp stamp. Should probably wash that. You can't make this stuff up. My life insurance provider is definitely gonna like me. I'm set, man. I didn't even know they included this nice piece of equipment with my house. I think I may have time to buff it before I use it. This one right here, this one is, I think, half inch. And this is OS, or is this plywood? Yeah, it's plywood. It's half inch. I want to put more weight on this side and probably less weight over there because, you know, if the ladder's right here, most of the stuff's going to go near the ladder because why am I going to want to walk to the other side of the garage, right? 
So I'll just move this stuff up over here and we'll get our nice thick brand new stuff and slap it right here. This is so satisfying. While I've been moving stuff, I found something that's definitely, that definitely brought back some memories. And that's this thing. This is like a cheap Chinese supercharger. It's not a turbo because we're not using any exhaust. Supercharger. So basically, I think you put the air filter. I got the air filter here too. Brand new, never, never used it. I thought it may work. I was totally optimistic and it did not work at all. It was, it was terrible. But anyways, this thing can work for something else. And I also had this laying around. This is a broken one. This is the one I replaced it with. I use this thing like an air compressor instead of something that, you know, an emergency thing. So I burnt it out, of course. You've heard of fast food, right? Well, we're trying to implement that here. If you want Well, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to use this as the turbocharger's power source because I actually fixed this thing and I have two working air compressor things. I'm stoked, you're probably unhappy. Here's our victim, I mean test subject, I mean grill. Ah, don't worry, it was only my, uh, my, my bandsaw. I'm gonna actually build a mount out of this piece of scrap here that was in the old garage. Turbo was in the old garage, this was in the old garage. Old garage coming in clutch. Yeah, we're definitely reinventing fast food. Well, there you have it. We supercharged the grill. Hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I'm gonna throw on some wieners. Nothing goes better with a supercharger than a good old wiener. Stay fresh, you fresh, stay super fly. Check out machinemerch.com if you wanna spice some things up. We'll see you later.